most welcome in my uh, session uh, in this session i will discuss a little bit about the control of ammonia in our pond we know the source of ammonia in the pond is from different sources firstly from the uneaten feed the fecal matter or the stool of the fishes from the secretion of the fish body and the secretion from the gill and the presence of different type of aquatic organisms which which ensure the presence of ammonia also we know the presence of ammonia is never acceptable or accepted by the fish farmers and it is always hazardous for the fishes because ammonia creates a basic situation which causes the loss of the proper structure of gill and fish often fish die if it be excess or the ammonia become be toxicated which is known as ammonia toxicity so in such a situation i always suggest the farmers to uh, use firstly sodium chloride that is salt that we eat and this salt react with the ammonia and uh, create ammonium chloride which reduces the presence of ammonia in water firstly we do it secondly the optional is use of tsp or ssp which reacts with the ammonia and creates the ammonium phosphate and reduce the toxic activity of ammonia it was previously that i suggested the farmers but next time in case of bioflock in pond i do not suggest the bioflock in tank i always suggest uh, the farmers uh, that is the bioflock in the pond system so in this system uh, for the both the purposes that is uh, firstly that is uh, the use of carbon source to be ensured for the reduction of ammonia and to make the uh, ammonia as the nutrient for the organic uh, organisms that is present in the aquatic environment which can be used as the feed of the fishes so firstly we suggested the molasses as the source of carbon source and unfortunately the use of molasses become scarce due to its rate rate market rate it increased from uh, 18 taka to 25 taka per kg or then it is 30 to 35 taka kg then it is 40 and exceeding 40 a day after day it is uh, increasing and increasing unnecessarily and most probably become the victim of syndicate also so i suggested my farmers to use the sugar that is cane sugar for the purpose and firstly i suggested the farmers to use 50 gram to 100 gram molasses per decimal of water for a pond and nextly i suggested if it not be possible for a farmer to collect uh, molasses then he can use the cane sugar and cane sugar you know cane sugar contains near about 40 percent of carbon which helps the heterotrophs bacteria to create or the breakdown of ammonia to create the nutrient which helps in the bioflock system in pond and at the same time the reduction of ammonia also but nowadays in our country it is not available that is the cane sugar properly which contains near about 40 percent of carbon but in exchange of cane sugar we are getting simply the beet sugar now it is most probably imported from different countries and which contains only 26 percent of carbon and you can you can compare this proportion that is 26 is to 40 it's a great difference so lastly i i think and i started in my pods to use the 
केन शुगर गार्ड दैट इज नोन एज बांगला बेंगली इट इज नोन एज गुड केन शुगर गार्ड एंड इट इज आई थिंक दैट इट नियर अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थार्टी पार्सेंट ऑफ इट्स मॉइस्चर एंड सेवेंटी पार्सेंट उड बी शुगर एंड नाउ एड इज द बीट शुगर इज सोल्ड इन उद इन टाका And this can sugar gold, it costs near about ninety taka, and I think it will reduce in very very few days. It will may it may become eighty taka also, but that is not the factor. But I will consider the activities or performance of the uh, this gold with the beet sugar. So I am. I am now suggesting my farmers to use to select this cane cane sugar gourd for the purpose because not to purchase the beet sugar which contains only twenty six percent of carbon and if it be possible for them to purchase originally cane sugar which contains near about forty percent of carbon otherwise I will suggest the farmers to collect this cane sugar gourd. Which may contain seventy-five percent of its weight, but considering the presence of carbon, it's quite okay. So I hope that you would do the other works of your pond properly, and at the same time for the production of bioflock in your pond and the uh, control of ammonia, you can use this uh, cane sugar gold. So hope I hope that this video will uh, support you a minimum even, and I will be thankful to Allah if it come to the uh, farmer as the blaze against the ammonia. Thank you, thank you.